This updated trucker's hitch video is going to be mostly my original trucker's hitch video, but I needed to add a little finishing touch because when I break it down in this video into three steps to create the pulley, I found that my students were doing the same thing. So it was it was slow and clumsy and they weren't getting a nice nice smooth finish to that pulley. So let's just add that in. I'm going to do it now and I'll, I'll add it back in later on in this video as well. So the left hand and the above the right hand, both palms towards me. The you can clasp with your thumb. The right hand goes above the left hand. The left hand never comes out of this loop. It just reaches over, grabs the line down below, and pulls it down. And there you see that figure eight that helps you know you have the right pulley. Once again, the advantage of this pulley is that you can always undo it. I've seen three truckers hitch pulleys, three different versions of the pulley. The other two, if you bind down on them too tight, you won't be able to get it undone. The trucker's hitch is us using rope to create a pulley and the purpose of this is that we want to make a very tight line. If we were to attach, for instance, a kayak onto roof racks, we could tie one end of the rope onto the roof racks with a clove hitch as a starting knot and then come down around the other side of the roof rack and try and tie this here. But how do we really get a tight rope? The trucker's hitch is what'll help us get that tight rope. Another specific application where you can use the trucker's hitch is if you are camping and you have, if you wanna set up a clothesline between two trees that are 20 or 30 feet apart, tie up a rope across those trees put on wet clothes that rope is going to sag. If you use trucker's hitch to tighten that rope you're going to get a nice tight rope that'll stay up and uh, you would not use that once again on the starting end of the rope but on the second tree you're tying to. Now the trucker's hitch would be tied in this manner right about here and then the rope comes down around an anchor point the anchor point being the other roof rack and then there's my pulley I'm just going to put a bite through the pulley and tighten it like this. So I can tighten as much as I want here. And then when I'm done, I can just tie a couple of half hitches on a bite to secure everything. Now, this is where I would typically use this, but just for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna get up a little higher. I'll be able to show you this knot better for the camera from this vantage point. Okay, back to the trucker's hitch. I've just moved the camera back a little bit to give a wider angle view so we can get the whole knot in here. Now, my left hand will be above my right hand. The far end of the rope has been secured to some other object. And I'm going to take my right hand, move it away from me, and then back in towards the rope, the standing part of the rope. And I've created a closed loop. I'm going to pinch that with my right hand. Step two, I'm just going to stick the fingers of my left hand through that loop from the side facing me, away from me. That's step two. Step three, I'm going to curl those fingers back, grab the rope that's hanging below, and pull my hand out the way it came. And there is my trucker's hitch. Now it's an unstable knot at this point in time until we get our rope around an anchor get it through. One more time, let's create this pulley in a nice smooth motion. Left hand above the right hand, palms towards me. When I move my right hand above the left hand, the left hand just pivots. It never comes out of this loop, it pivots. And then I grab the rope from below and pull it down through in that manner right there. Okay, so let's do that hitch again. Step one. My right hand goes away from me and comes back to create a closed loop and I'm going to pinch it with my right hand. My left hand, the fingers are going to go through that loop from the side facing me away from me. So my fingers are going to pass through that. Step three, my fingers are going to come over, grab the rope that's hanging and pull it back through that loop that was created. So there, once again, is my trucker's hitch. Once again, 
you would put this around an anchor to finish and to tighten your rope. Okay, so let's do that hitch one more time. The right hand goes away and back in, creates a loop. Left hand, fingers go through, curl back over the top, grab the rope that's hanging, and pull it down, and there is your trucker's hitch. One more time, let's create the pulley for the trucker's hitch. Left hand above the right hand, palms facing towards me. When I move my right hand above the left hand and trap the rope there, the left hand never comes out of this loop that I've created. It just reaches down, grabs this rope down here, and pulls down to create the pulley. 